Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about CAP theorem in NoSQL database. So CAP theorem is very important uh, for us to understand before you get into any NoSQL database product. So, so we have 100 plus NoSQL databases uh, in big data. So generally the NoSQL is a DB. Uh, NoSQL database is something which we used to call only inside the big data market. Okay. So it's all it's also called as a modern database okay so now if you are learning no sql database it can be hbase or cassandra or mongodb or uh, memcache db or any db it could be dynamo db any db the very first thing what you need to know is what is cap theorem so if you take rdbms we have something called acid acid so all rdbms database comes under the rule acid similar to that in no sql we have cap so we need to understand what is this cap theorem okay so, uh, CAP theorem uh, uh, is something that all your NoSQL database has to uh, um, achieve, means it has to follow the rule. Any NoSQL database that you take will satisfy only two out of this three. So, either it will be CP or AP. So, you can't achieve all the three at a single NoSQL database. So, that means people always used to categorize the NoSQL database like this C, A, P. So, either the NoSQL can come under here or it will be under here AP or CP you can't achieve all the three so I will tell you why we can't achieve all the three at the same time so if you take C C for consistency and A for availability P for partition tolerance okay what is consistency consistency means getting an up-to-date information updated information imagine you and your friend sitting in a room connected to a same network and you are just uh, 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 watching some website in which you are seeing some cricket score and um, and there is an update happens for example you are watching the same uh, match in the tv as well in the tv the score updated to four but you both uh, like you are trying to refresh the website and you are getting the updated information the score as 4 but your friend still seeing the old score that means the website that which using a DB is not a consistent DB it's not giving the up-to-date information for particular users that means there is no consistency consistency is all about I have to get an up-to-date information if there is an update happened I have to get the data update immediately availability availability means 24 cross 7 the data has to be available if you go for some uh, ticket booking slots right so when there is no tickets or if if the, if the ticket booking slot is between this time to this time so that means the data is available only for the particular time window if you go for such products right any it could be any product if you go for such products so then the pro pro product is using a database which is not having the data available for all the time so the data is not completely available when I when I'm trying and query I'm not getting the output then the data is not available so availability if it is there then the database supports availability if the data is not coming all the time then there is no availability and then partition tolerance partition tolerance what is partition and what is tolerance if you take partition the data what you upload to a product or your social media whatever it is so when you upload the uh, data so 1 gb okay you are uploading a pic which is uh, which is in the size of 1 gb so that 1 gb data will not be get stored as a one single file in one machine so it won't be get stored like this if you go for any modern database storage systems so the data will be in a partition this 1 gb data will be get splitted into multiple partitions for example 200 MB of this 1 GB gets stored in first machine. 500 MB of data of this 1 GB gets stored in second machine. And then the balance 300 something MB gets stored in third machine. So your 1 GB is split into three partition files. So this is why we are doing this. So the distributed storage gives you the distributed processing and that's the reason we are just distributing the data. Now, what is tolerance? Okay, imagine what happened if this node goes down, the 200 MB of data is lost. So I cannot give you the 1 GB of data back because I'm not having the complete file. I just have only the 800 uh, MB of data available. So here, the, to the tolerance means you have to tolerate. Even though machine goes down, you have to still give the 1 GB data back to the user when they query it. So that is where all the NoSQL database has the concept called replication. You can take multiple copies of the partitions. For example, this 200 MB data will have a copy here or there can be a new node in which this 200 MB data will be as a copy available here. Now, if this node goes down, you can again take the data from here or from here. 
how many number of copies need to be get created is configurable in any NoSQL database you go you can able to decide it and I have a dedicated video called what is replication so I have shared that link in the description box you can just uh, go through it so I have explained you completely about what is replication now if you take the C A and P uh, we can try to have some top three NoSQL database in market Hbase MongoDB and then Cassandra are the top three NoSQL database in industry okay so based on the usage i'm telling this okay so first of all any nosql database that you take for for using it in your project or you want to learn it very first thing you have to see hbase okay hbase comes under ca or ap or cp you have to first select so means you have to first categorize you need to know that if you take hbase hbase comes under consistency and partition tolerance Next, if you take Cassandra, that comes under availability and partition tolerance. And if you take MongoDB, that comes under consistency and partition tolerance. So, so these database by default supports Hbase MongoDB sub comes under only CP, Cassandra will come under only AP. So, if you take Cassandra, data will be available and partition tolerance is there, but consistency is not guaranteed. And when you take Hbase and MongoDB, consistency is guaranteed, partition tolerance is guaranteed, but availability is not guaranteed. And as I already told you, none of the database will achieve all these three rules only two out of this three and you can ask me what is this c and a consistency and availability okay no no sql database comes under c a then then what is this c a so c a is for rdbms that's it so all rdbms has good consistency and good availability the reason is in rdbms we don't have an inbuilt solution for partition tolerance okay so c and a is only in rdbms rdbms doesn't have a inbuilt system to create the partition tolerance functionality like splitting the data into multiple parts and having replication and all but in rdbms we can still do it by by accommodating some third party technologies by buying the license and then adding to it so you have to do all this complicity in rdbms so uh, no sql will never come under the ca only rdbms comes under the ca all your NoSQL database comes under CP or AP. Okay, so here, um, uh, as I told you already, why CAP, all the three, I am not able to achieve it in a single database. Okay. I am going to explain this as a separate video because it's a, such a, a big concept. I don't want to add that in this video. I'm So if you go to my playlist link of uh, this video, uh, data engineering playlist, it's there in the description box. So you can able to see the next video. If the video is not there at this point of time, wait, please wait. I will be soon uploading it. Uh, but you can check in my playlist. If it is there, then you can watch it. So I, I will make a separate video. Why we can't achieve all the three CAP in a part, in a single NoSQL DB? I will tell you that. Okay. Now there is an, another question few people may ask me. Okay. So all this modern uh, uh, applications like uh, Facebook or Instagram or uh, LinkedIn, uh, you 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 may have read some blog saying that uh, these modern social medias are using NoSQL database. Then you may ask a question: If I take uh, a particular product, Facebook, uh, I'm I'm able to see consistency, partition tolerance, and availability all the three. Whenever I go, I'm getting the updated information in Facebook. My likes or my likes for an updated count and whenever I log into my Facebook the data is available 24 cross 7 and also Facebook stores all my data with multiple copies and the partitions is also there then how Facebook can able to achieve all the three C and A C A P in a single product okay so as a product you are seeing this as a product you are seeing but in back end if, if you take this as a Facebook in back end they will be achieving all C A P with not one single database they will be using multiple database maybe your comments like shares can go to Hbase your messenger information stories and status may go for Cassandra so internally they will be using multiple database to achieve the C A P as a product here okay since it's a the entire Facebook is giving C A P don't think they are, they are using a single DB none of the none of the product you take any product payment gateway social media banking sites internally the back-end side they won't use one DB to store and process all the data there will be multiple databases in background so using more than one tech stack 
uh, in a single product we call it as a polygot persistent i have a separate video also for what is polygot persistent but you don't want to have a look on it because the answer is more than one db product or more than one any tech product in general if you use for a single uh, product if my product is a facebook and i'm using more than one tech stack then we call it as a polygot persistent so you can achieve cap all the three by using multiple databases that means you can achieve cap with polygot persistent using more than one db using cassandra on hbase in a single project using mongodb and cassandra in a single project okay so uh, this uh, agenda of the video is just to explain you what is cap because you are stepping into no sql then for sure you have to know what is this cap and as i told you i will be making a separate video explaining you why cap all the three is not achievable in a single no sql database okay i will i will tell you in my next video so thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com if you like this video subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues we do all tech videos in english and tamil two languages and uh, i have shared my linkedin and instagram url in the description box if you want to contact me you can contact to my uh, linkedin or via instagram so thanks for watching